Good contest. Wade in the middle of it. Hooker again. Oh. And again, Hooker and Henderson. And that ball's still not coming out. My ball. Thanks, Eddie. I think you would say, from Carlton's point of view, the first five minutes, they've got the energy in their performance, yep. which is the first thing you look for, that they're playing with energy. Great chase by Davey. Howlett ran into a dead end. And I, I, I guess when you look at it, Tom, I always think that means you, you, you're laying the tag. If the opposition have got the footy, you're getting to them quickly, yep. and there's good, good, good momentum into the footy from your own team. I think, I think that's the contested footy uh, bottom line. Yep. Bombers by six points. Hill directs it down. Slips out of the pack. Judd in desperate trouble. High fend off against Chris Judd. With the left forearm. 50 metres. He's hooking. Twice. Well, I'm not sure what the 50 was for. Great. but Hooking's hooking. kick. Well, isn't he on the same team? <laughs> Sure. Need those 3D glasses for some of this. Fresno smothered off the boot. He's going to go right so far. Eddie Betts, no one up ahead. Eddie Betts just lays it to a man who scooted in from the 50. Well, terrific running by Garlett. Well spotted by Betts too. Garlett, the one man running towards goal. That's terrible. Great smother. Oh, geez, that was a poor effort by Prismal in terms of allowing the smother to happen. It, it looks on the outset like a fantastic run from Gallard. He actually came off the interchange bench. Ah, un-Australian. And he comes and he kicks the goal. A rush by Case Lee. <laughs> it did. I mean, it was a terrible turnover from Prismal. At the moment, you wonder, given the opportunity to play on someone like Chris Judd, how much that... Uh, impairs mm. the way you prepare yeah. for the game. He looks unsure when he's got the ball at the moment. Perhaps he's thinking too much about the fence, not enough about what he's doing when he's got the ball in hand because he is an elite user of the football. Well, he's still in the centre square and Judd looks like he's gone forward, so maybe it was just a match-up that occurred as mm. opposed to a pre-planned one. Well, that was uh, a crucial error there by Prismal actually to have that kick smothered. The number of players were coming from the ground. A couple of Essen defenders came off at that same time, which allowed Garlic came onto the ground at that time, and he just ran straight into that space. Holding! Joe Watson kick! So Watson to Watson. Good timing, Tim. Come back around. Time back Actually, a lot now. of free kicks in this mm. game so far, haven't they? So Joe Watson out of the centre. Searching kick to Hill. To Hill was good there. Accelerated into the ball away from Hampson. And then goes to centre half forward. Well weighted kicks our right. This is good. Oh, touch. Mark paid, wasn't it? Prismo's going to miss it. I think the mark was paid, but yeah. uh, he, he had uh, given the hand ball before mm. the umpire's whistle. Let's have a look. I think it's touched first. But, I don't but think the, the umpire, umpire has yeah. paid the paid yeah. the mark. So yeah. Zaha has read the hands off Carlton and assumed it wasn't going to be paid. Too honest. <laughs> Very Australian. Riders yes. tap backs a beauty. And now Prismo, not a great handball. Remus. Had to search. Prismal again. Again goes to Carlton. He's having a shaky old start, isn't he? As Griggs away. And they burst up to centre wing. And then wait with a lovely long kick, giving Judd half a chance. Judd goes back in board. Henderson over the top. Garlic running at home. Brilliant. <laughs> One end to the other. <laughs> Well, all's well and ends well, but I'm not sure whether Garlett uh, picked the high percentage option. He could have just taken off and almost ran the ball into the open's goals, but I guess he doesn't know who's on his on his back. I, I love seeing small forwards do that. They practice it time oh, and time yes. again at training. Very skillful. Going in the day, going in the days where that's seen as fluky. That is, uh, he's absolutely knows yeah. exactly what he's doing. There. That's fantastic. I've just been watching a little bit of Mitch Robinson. He's doing the defensive number on Dustin Fletcher at the moment. When Carlton do stream forward, he has to take on the uh, responsibility of playing as a forward. He's going to have to actually play, still have a very offensive uh, mindset and draw the ball. At this stage, he seems a little too focused on Fletcher when Carlton is streaming yeah. forward. And I'm sure if he does get into space, the Carlton have been told, go to him. Absolutely. Blues led it by six points. Good opening by their standards. Lonigan, Wendelik, good to see him back. Having a fine season. Little chip goes towards Hill, so quick on the spread Hill, 
Gives it across towards a teammate there in Howlett. Back to Hill. In trouble. Went to Lonigan. Across to McVeigh. Slips a hand pass to Watson. Watson miscues with a kick. Out towards right half back for Carlton. Taken by Scotland. Spills out. Diving on top of the football is Hardingham. He's trying to get it out, is he? No! Hey, Scotland, put on! Bad acting again. Goodness me. Taken by Bauer. Murphy. Through midfield. Drives it towards half forward. Judd tracks it, then backs off. Realising Fletcher was going to get to it first. Kicks it up towards the wing. And it goes across the line. And just making the point about that good start for the Blues. This is the first time in eight weeks Carlton have managed three goals in an opening term. Does not make a difference when you have three shots for three goals? That you've actually generated the shot, yes, but actually to get the conversion. It's a remarkable fact, isn't it? Play on! And getting off to shocking starts. Ellard. Gee, he's been in just the last couple of weeks, so well, last week and this week, Ben Howlett. Mm. He's kind of joined the uh, the mid, the Essen midfield group, another player yep. off the rookie list. It looks like he just might have a future. Had nine contested possessions last week and 27. Oh. Has Ryder so high, but uh, Ellard again to centre half forward. At the back, Carrazzo. Betts on the left. Never quite got the angle. Too much air in the end, wasn't it? She rider here. Just a big jump, isn't it? And hasn't, hasn't David Hill been important? The inclusion uh, last week in particular for uh, Paddy Ryder's game. That's, that's the ruck hit out of the year. Yeah. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> that's Farmer-esque. Mm. In his early days when Polly had that wonderful leap. Victorians didn't see the best of him. He came across and did his knee in his third game for the Cats. And the leap was not as it was. Ball comes up towards the wing. Off hands, out of bounds. Ellard was the man who touched it. And then puts the body in and immediately interchanges. One of the things they Carlton will be happy with too is that Garlett and Betts have got a bit involved yeah. in the game. You know they've got to have good games. You would have thought for them to kick a winning score. Warnock in front, tries to direct it down. Prisma lost it. Ryder backs up. Well played. Got it to Collier. Collier is running. Down a boy half forward. Oh, what a beautiful kick. What a lovely kick. Neagle just moving slightly to his right. Collier assessed it beautifully. And Neagle will kick it goal from about 35 metres out. Almost directly in front. That's a time and space kick. Because he's got the time and space, Bow is leading to the boundary where all defenders would go. And uh, But with the time and space, Collie was just able to kick the ball where we wanted to and need an easy mark. Everybody has been straight so far, so to speak. But this time, Neagle hooks it. So it goes for a behind. First blemish, margin is five points. He hasn't played against the Blues since 2008, Neagle. Just the, uh, the leg come across the body. You could see that in the kicking action, couldn't you? And the ball going in that trajectory. So three scoring shots apiece. Bizarre opening to the match, settling now. Good contest. Big leap from Hampson. Hadley down low, bit of a sloppy handball. Carazzo made it look good in the end. Kick just too tall for oh. Betts. So a target miss there, and then Hurley back in 50-50. Brisbane had a cut off by Murphy. Simpson, first real time we've caught him. Back to Carazzo, got through some heavy traffic. Off the side a bit, but fell to Betts, who's been up and about. And I guess the Carlton midfield got a bit of a pounding last week as did the whole team. But I think mm. Mark Murphy has played more That's physical it, yep. in this first 15 minutes than I normal. So I think he's really reacted to the need. Well, the tangible status tackles Carlton already up to 18 in their previous encounters. Uh, the last couple of weeks, they've only been averaging about eight in the first yeah. half of the quarter. So the intensity right certainly right there. Right here, this will be a career season high if he kicks this. He kicked 38 goals last year. He's sitting on 38 before tonight. And that one is a bad miss. Mm. Should have hammered that home bet. So misses at either end. Missed by Watson, but he's going to get a free kick. And made him earn it, which was important. Goes in short, Watson. Bit tall there for Hawking. Knocked forward. Well done by Hadley. Hand pass comes across from Carrazzo. Hampson misses to the right-hand side. He's talking about Eddie Betts. Two goals against the Bombers. Back in